Kevin, welcome to the show. Bobby, it's great to see you. I'm glad you could uh, invite me and have me here, so thank you. Wow, I'm thrilled to see you. And I'm excited to talk to you about sports. It reminded me of uh, my uh, my sons who talk about sports all the time, but also, you know, when I was little, uh, I, I was the same way where sports dominated everything I did and in all my conversations with my parents and my brother and my friends. Uh, so I was really excited that uh, I got the chance to talk to you. I could do yeah. that. Great. All right, Kevin. I always wondered watching you, how you had the knowledge on just about every sport. Football, mm -hmm. baseball, basketball, hockey. How do you keep up and be on top of everything happening in the sports world day in and day out? So uh, that's a really good question too. Um, I keep up because of, uh, you know, it helps me. We have a great team at ESPN of researchers as well that give us information if we have questions. But uh, the one thing is, if you want to do this job, you've got to love the job, right? You've got to love sports because you're going to be talking about sports all the time. Hey, I watch the games. I watch the highlights. So even on my days off, I'm always involved in it. And that's, uh, that's something that's important to me. Yeah, and I know it's not easy. Right now, I closely follow the NFL, and I only get to watch games on the weekends with my school schedule, but I try to follow the highlights and understand stats, because I do game predictions and post-game analysis on my channel. So nice. yeah, yeah, it's not magic to be able to talk about every single sport. A lot of hard work goes behind it. Yeah, so I want to ask you then, what would be your prediction for the AFC and the NFC Championship Games as we get ready for them tomorrow? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to prepare for because I'm doing it today. So I think the Bucks will win the Packers. Okay. Because they and can you tell me why? What, do you, is there one reason why you picked the, the Bucks over the Packers? Did you see yesterday against Drew, I mean, last week against Drew Brees, their defense was crazy good. That's a great, great point. And let's not forget, in their first meeting in week six, uh, when the Bucks beat the Packers, uh, their defense sacked Aaron Rodgers four times. So if their defense, led by Todd Bowles, the defensive coordinator, if he could play a big role in this game, uh, that will help, of course, Tom Brady. Um, by the way, uh, how old are you? I'm eight. You're eight. Come over here. I want you to meet my, uh, my eight-year-old son. This is Brandon. Hi. Hi. Brandon uh, follows sports uh, as much as you do as well, and we talk about it all the time. So he and I talked this morning about the Sixers, uh, how they, they're playing really well and what they're doing. And also, um, he's a big, big uh, NBA fan. So we're in fantasy uh, basketball. Now, here's my other son. This is Noah, who is six years old. He's also into sports as well. So, Abby, Abby's going to pick, guys. He's already... He, he's leaning right now as he's broken it down. He's leaning on the Bucks uh, because of their defense. So the next question is, where are we on the AFC game? I want to know, are you picking the Chiefs or the Bills? Chiefs or the Bills on... This is a close one. I can't think between Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes. Ooh, is Patrick Mahomes coming back or not? That's the question. He is. He got cleared, so he's okay. going to start the game. Uh, but the, the big question for Patrick Mahomes, as you... Uh, bring up a good a point at he's got a toe injury so we'll see if he can move around and Noah and Brandon are picking the Bills so I, I was surprised by that they both because they like their defense and they like Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs you don't think he's gonna be right okay so Abby yeah tell me your breakdown who do you think is gonna win um, Stefan Diggs to Allen, that's a good matchup, but what about um, Patrick Mahomes to Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey? That's a uh, great point, exactly. And, so, and it special sounds teams. like you're leaning towards the Chiefs? Yeah, because special teams too. Remember, did you see Nicole Hardman all the way for the punt return touchdown? Against Excellent the observation. Special teams could play a very big role and Hardman has some speed. So we'll see if that, uh, that could be the difference in this game. Is Hilaire back? Is Edward Hilaire back? No, he's not. He's still dealing with the uh, the issues with his legs. And here's the thing. When they first met earlier this season, right, Clyde Edwards Hilaire played a huge role, and they, they beat the Bills because of the running game, because of yeah. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Yeah, 
But now Le'Veon Bell's still there, but Le'Veon Bell's a good rusher, but I think Edward Solaire is a bit better. Good observation. Very good observation, because you're right. We could see a big game from Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, I, I think I'm leaning towards the Chiefs. Okay. Uh, now, you can, of course, change your uh, mind in the next day, but if you're leaning towards – so he's leaning towards the Chiefs. He's leaning towards the Bucks. Are you guys going Bucks or Packers? I'm going Packers. Um, Packers. Bucks. Bucks? Okay, Thanks. Brandon picks the Bucks. Noah picks the Packers. I'm going with the Packers. It's just so tough to pick these very, like, tough teams, like, when they're really good. Like, the number one seed versus the number five seed. The number two seed versus the number one seed. It's like, yeah, so it's that's why tough, it's right? really hard to yeah. pick. Yeah, so tell me then, who's your favorite uh, basketball team? Uh, Celtics. Um, I want Boston to win. They have Jason Tatum. I know. Jaylen okay. Brown. So then, who's your? No, no, no. I, I, I love it because you know, we're the Sixers. You're the Celtics. That's a lot of fun. Who's your favorite football team? Patriots. Oh. At least it's not the Cowboys. Ah, uh, yeah, because we we're Eagles fans, so it's at least it's not the Cowboys or the Giants, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but uh, they've won a lot of Super Bowls with Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, yep. so we've had a good run. Okay, I heard you sing, Fly Eagles Fly on the Road to Victory. Yes. You must be thrilled with the 2018 Eagles win. And I know you were part of the parade. Yes, it was great. It was uh, it was actually a dream come true because I grew up watching the Eagles with my dad and my brother and my mom. and. Uh, that's how I got into sports, and that's why I fell in love with it. So to be able to cover a parade uh, celebrating the first ever Super Bowl was amazing. Uh, and these two boys love uh, to sing Fly Eagles Fly. As, and obviously you can see Noah's shirt with, has the Eagles. So, so it was amazing for our whole family to, uh, to, to watch the Eagles and see what they, uh, what they did on that fantastic season. I'm sorry they beat your Patriots. But you had already beaten us, uh, you know, in 2006 in Jacksonville, yeah, and you also have a lot of rings. Yeah, it was my favorite team versus your favorite team. Yes, exactly. Well, uh, now, this is on your YouTube channel, right? You make yeah. these picks? Yeah. All right, I, I can't wait to watch it tomorrow, because I know you're going to do a lot of research later on the day to, uh, before you make the picks. Yeah. championship and the AFC championship. Who will win? I'm sharing my predictions in this video today. Let's get rocking and rolling. We have it. The Buffalo Bills versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's get to each team, talk about their stats, and then let's see which one has the upper end. Let's start off with the Bills. Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, this team is just unbelievable. Like on the defensive end, Tredavious White, good cornerback. Josh Allen's really good with his running skill and passing. Throws to Stefan Diggs all the time. Side pads go up easy. It's like just the combination of the running, passing. And on the defensive end, Tredavious White, really good cornerback. So yeah, the Bills are a really good team. Okay, but they're facing, looks like an even better team. The Kansas City Chiefs. Mahomes is back, that's great. There's Tyree Kill. Mahomes is one of the top receivers. Nicole Hardman, don't forget about him on special teams. Um, Nicole Hardman has crazy fast speed. Edward Tiller, still on the injury, but maybe be back. Le'Veon Bell still has some power on rushing. But don't forget about the big tight end, Travis Kelsey. Oh my God, he's so amazing. What about defense? Tyron Matthew put up a big game against the Cleveland Browns. It was just so amazing. Their performance. Chad Hine just throws a nice pass to Tyreek Hill to get the game over for first down and fourth and inches. It's just crazy. The Chiefs are so overpowered. They have Hill, Kelsey, Hardman. Oh my God, Mahomes. Matthew, it's too much. So this is just a tough one to pick. Stinks, Mahomes, Hill, Allen, it's just so tough. I think the Chiefs have a bit of an upper hand. Kelsey, uh, Nicole Hardman, speed. 
So that's why I think the Chiefs um, have the upper hand. I'm taking the Kansas City Chiefs. They're going to win the AFC. They're going to go on to the Super Bowl. NFC. NFC has gone up and down. It's just crazy what's happening in the NFC. So in the NFC, we have the one and only Green Bay Packers versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This time, let's start off with the Bucs. Bucs, really great team. Look at them, Brady, the all-star, the MVP, the G-O-A-T, GOAT. He has some great receivers. Antonio Brown, sadly, not playing today, but Evans is there. The tight ends, there's Cameron Braid, there's Rob Gronkowski, and the running game, Ronald Jones III. There's Le Le Leonard Fournette. It's just crazy. On defense, Devin White. I just don't know how they're so overpowered. So you guys know in basketball, there's the Brookline Nets. The Bucks are exactly the Nets. They're just so overpowered. Okay, now let's get to the Packers side. Packers, Rodgers, Adams, just so good players. Rodgers, there's Adams, there's Tanyan, there's Jones, the running back. He put a 60 yard burst over the Rams. It's just so amazing how these running backs and receivers run these routes and find holes to go through so they can get the kick passes and run to the end zone. It's just unbelievable. So this is a tough one to pick. I think the Bucks have a little bit over the hand because the Bucks, Brady versus Rodgers, first time ever they played in the playoffs together. These two teams played in week six. Fun fact, Chiefs Bills also played in week six, so that was funny. It's just a remake of week, two, week six, two games here in the NFC and AFC Championship game. The reason it's just so important for Brady and the Bucs, Bucs haven't came to the Super Bowl or even the playoffs for 18 years. Crazy. 2002, they won the Super Bowl, so that's great. If Brady wins, he'll have seven Super Bowls. So if he wins them, he'll be on top of like the whole entire NFL history with the most Super Bowls probably ever won by anybody. So it's just so amazing. I think like how I said earlier, the Bucks have a bit of the upper hand. They're going to the Super Bowl. And due to my predictions, they're gonna face the KC Chiefs, a rematch. Uh, last time the Chiefs won, but you never know what's gonna happen. Last week it was 4-0, every single prediction was right. Now I hope this week it's gonna go 2-0 and, and every prediction is right to you. And the Super Bowl next, 1-0. I can't wait for the games. I'll see you later for the analysis and then the Super Bowl prediction. I hope you get to watch the game. There are some really intense games. Um, this game, this weekend is just so amazing. This is one of the best weeks in the whole entire NFL. The top four teams, play each other. I'll see you again in the post game analysis and then we get to the Super Bowl predictions. But before the Super Bowl, we better get ready. Let's, I'll see you later guys.